You've probably held one before without realizing it. A clear cup, a sandwich container, or maybe one of those clamshell boxes for takeout, labeled made from plants or compostable. You glance at it, toss it in the bin, and move on. But behind that label is a weird, fascinating truth. A lot of that packaging? It used to be corn. Yeah, corn. As in, actual yellow kernels grown in a field. It's easy to forget how many things come wrapped in plastic. Food containers, lids, salad bowls, snack trays. The packaging around our lives is mostly plastic. And that's a problem. Traditional plastic lasts forever. It's clogging landfills and choking ecosystems. So companies have been hunting for alternatives. And one of the most promising is a plastic-like material made from corn. So how does corn go from farm crop to food safe plastic packaging? Let's break it down right here on History of Simple Things. Here's the deal. Most of the plastic packaging we use, especially in the food industry, is made from petroleum. It's cheap, durable, and works well for holding everything from fruit to fried rice. But it's also a major environmental headache. That takeout box you used once? It'll stick around for hundreds of years. Multiply that by billions of boxes, cups, and wrappers every single day. And suddenly, convenience looks a lot like a crisis. That's where bioplastics come in. Instead of being made from oil, they're made from plants. Renewable, more eco-friendly, and designed to break down faster, at least in the right conditions. And when it comes to making plant-based plastic packaging, corn is one of the top ingredients. Not because it's quirky, but because it's practical. It's cheap, abundant, and full of starch which is where the story starts. So how does a vegetable become a salad container? It starts with industrial field corn, the kind you wouldn't eat off the cob. The kernels are processed to extract the starch, which is then mixed with water and enzymes. That breaks it down into sugars. From there, microbes come in and ferment those sugars into lactic acid. Sounds a little gross, but stay with me. That lactic acid is processed further into something called PLA, polylactic acid. It looks like tiny pellets, kind of like the base material for regular plastic. These pellets are then shipped off to manufacturers who mold them into packaging products. Clear deli containers, clamshell boxes, produce wrappers, compostable coffee cup lids, stuff you see every day especially in cafes and supermarkets. What's wild is that it looks and functions like plastic. It's strong, it's food safe, and it keeps your sandwich from getting soggy. Just like the old petroleum-based stuff, but its origin story, pure farm-grown corn. Once the PLA pellets arrive at the factory, the process of turning them into packaging is actually pretty familiar. The material is heated and shaped using traditional molding machines. No need for some futuristic sci-fi tech. PLA can be blown into films for wrapping, pressed into trays, or molded into rigid containers and lids. You'll find this kind of packaging used for everything from bakery goods to pre-cut fruit, grab-and-go salads, and even compostable cutlery. And since it's heat sensitive, it's especially popular for cold food packaging. Those clear containers you see in the refrigerated section, yeah, many of them are corn-based PLA. This compatibility with current packaging systems is part of why it's catching on. Brands don't need to rebuild their entire production line. They can just swap out the materials and keep rolling. Here's where things get a little more complicated. Is corn-based packaging better for the planet? Mostly yes, but not always. Let's start with the good news. PLA packaging is made from renewable resources, and when it ends up in an industrial composting facility, it can break down in a matter of months. 
It also produces fewer greenhouse gases during manufacturing compared to regular plastic. Now, the not so great part. Most cities don't have composting systems equipped to handle PLA. If you toss it in your backyard compost pile, it's probably just gonna sit there. If it goes to a landfill, same story. So even though the packaging can be compostable, the system to support that is still catching up. There's also debate around using farmland for packaging instead of food. But in reality, only a small percentage of global corn production goes into PLA. Most is still used for livestock feed and fuel. So is it perfect? No, but compared to oil-based packaging, it's a meaningful improvement especially when used thoughtfully and paired with the right disposal systems. Right now, corn-based plastic packaging is still a small part of the market, but it's growing fast. Brands that care about sustainability are switching to PLA for cold food containers, cups, lids, and wrappers. Events, airports, universities, all kinds of places are using this material to reduce waste. The world of corn-based plastics is still evolving, but the big question is scalability. Can we make enough of this stuff without cutting into food supply? Can composting infrastructure keep up? Can this material be improved so it breaks down more easily in everyday conditions? Those questions are still being figured out, but the innovation isn't slowing down. The truth is, the fact that we can turn corn into something that looks and acts like plastic is already a massive leap. A little weird, sure, but weird in a welcome to the future kind of way. Researchers are also looking at ways to make it more versatile for hot foods, flexible films, or packaging that breaks down in backyard compost bins. But honestly, the most promising thing is this. We now know it's possible to make food safe, durable packaging out of crops. We're not stuck with petroleum forever. The challenge now is scaling it responsibly, making sure the composting systems exist and improving the materials to match real world use. So the next time you grab lunch in one of those clear containers labeled plant-based or compostable, remember, it might have started its life in a cornfield. That packaging isn't just holding your food, it's holding a small piece of a much bigger shift in how we think about materials, waste, and the future of packaging. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a step. And right now, we need all the steps we can take. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.